Let me take you on a quick tour of the ShopperPress theme. ShopperPress is divided into different pages. We have the home page, listing or gallery pages, product pages, and additional content pages that you add in the admin area of WordPress. Let me quickly show you which files of the ShopperPress theme refer to which page on your ShopperPress website. On the left here you can see a list of all of the files provided when you purchase the ShopperPress theme. If we have a quick look at the website we can see the header, the navigation bars, the left and right, footer areas, and the main content areas. Those are separated into different files. We have the header, the footer, the left sidebar is stored also in the header file. However, the right sidebar has its own file, sidebar.php. And the main content page for each page is different. We have the home page, which is the homepage.php file. The featured bar here at the top, the featured image slider, is the featured.php file. The gallery or listing pages are all in the gallery.php file. The navigation options are all in the navigation.php file and the right shopping basket options here are in the shopping cart.php file there are additional files in this, in this file format of the ShopperPress theme including comments and comments pop-up which are part of the WordPress theme function files the index file and different language options in case you wish to customize the language for ShopperPress Custom pages, for example the contact page, articles pages and shopping cart checkout page are all stored as ShopperPress template files which begin with a tpl-shopperpress file name. If you're setting up normal pages within WordPress, those will always be in the page.php file. The home page of most of the ShopperPress themes comprises of a featured image and hot selling items. On the default template we also have recently added items. You can customize the amount displayed and the display settings for these options in the admin area. Under number 2, display settings, home page. image box, which refers to this box on the home page, comprises of all products that have a featured image. So to enable the featured image box, we initially enable the box, then we go to our posts or products, and ensure that the product has a featured image selected. Gallery or search pages in ShopperPress refer to the pages website visitors will use when browsing your website products. You can customize the appearance of the search page in the admin area of ShopperPress. Under number 2, display settings. And using the tabs at the top, click on the search page. Here, you can specify the number of products per page default display order for each of your products. To enable or disable the gallery and list view options, 
which are the buttons at the top right here. To display the default view as list view or gallery view, this is a list view. And this is the gallery view. And you can also specify the custom search listing options, allowing you to specify which fields the user can order your products by. You can enter your own search options here and specify search fields based on custom fields added in WordPress. Another key element of the gallery page is the navigation plugin at the bottom. This can be downloaded from our website at www.premiumpress.com forward slash plugins. You download it and install it into your plugins section in the admin area of WordPress under plugins and it's called the WP navigation plugin. This will generate the navigation options at the bottom of your page. The file which the gallery page and search page refers to in the Shopper Press theme folder is the underscore gallery.php file. Each individual item is in the file underscore item within the Shopper Press theme folder. Shopper Press has three different types of products. Those include the affiliate product, the add to cart product or the normal shopping cart product and an additional file download product. The affiliate product is often represented with a buy it now button allowing the website visitor to click on the button with your affiliate link on it. The normal store product options have a add to cart button and the file download option products have a download now button allowing you to download the file if you're setting up a file download website. The product page appearance can be customized in the admin area of ShopperPress. Under number 2, display settings. And using the tabs at the top, clicking on product page. Here are a number of options available for you to turn on and off a lot of the display options including the ability to ignore item quantity which is only used if you're specifying a quantity value for each of your store products. This will then stop users from adding products to the cart when the product is already out of stock. You can turn on and off the checkout now pop-up box, show and hide the navigation options for the next previous products show and hide the product category bar on the right hand side the extra product images the description box at the bottom if you wish to hide the entire description box here the extra bookmark this page, email, friend, print a page and additional links at the bottom and the large image view if you wish to hide the large image view here and finally the currency link option which is this option here allowing the user to view the price of the products in a different currency. You add and edit products on your website in the admin area of WordPress under posts, add new post. These two options allow you to manage your post or manage your products and add and create new products. If I just show you for, for example this product, the example product, we have the title area which refers to the title here, we have the main description content box here which is the one in the bottom or the middle of the page, we have the listing type which allows you to specify if this is going to be a shop product or a website article. The SKU ID, which is the unique ID if you're importing using a CSV file. We have the currency price, which is the price of your product. The 
old price, the quantity, which if you're using the quantity options, then you need to specify the quantity available for this product, which will be then obviously reduced when the products are purchased. Any weight options, if you're going to be using a weight shipping element. The file name you specify only if it's a downloadable product. And here you can set up the images, featured images which are for the front page only.